Welcome to this three-minute video on the kidney transplant simulation model. This model looks at kidney transplantation in Canada and how donated kidneys are matched with patients waiting for a transplant. Chronic kidney disease is common and made up of several stages. The final stage is called kidney failure. This is when the kidneys no longer work well enough to remove toxins and excess fluids from the body. Kidney replacement therapy is needed to stay alive. The options are dialysis and kidney transplantation. The preferred treatment is transplantation because it improves survival and quality of life for the patient. But more people need a transplant than there are kidneys available. And many patients will need more than one transplant in their lifetime, often due to kidney rejection. Sometimes, patients can receive a kidney from a living donor, such as a family member. If not, Patients are placed on a waiting list for a kidney from someone who has died, called a deceased donor. Many criteria are used to match patients on the waiting list with deceased donor kidneys. After considering those factors first, kidneys are usually offered to patients who've been waiting the longest. One alternative approach being considered to guide transplantation decisions is something called epitope compatibility. Epitope compatibility involves comparing specific immune system molecules between kidney donors and recipients. Better matching could reduce kidney rejection. Changing the system in this way would mean placing less priority on how long patients have been waiting and more priority on having transplanted kidneys work better and for longer. This raises ethical questions, and many people have asked for more information about the impact of making this change. The kidney transplant sim model is a discrete event simulation model that helps us compare the two different allocation systems in more detail. It uses anonymous information gathered from real patients and donors over a 10-year period, including things like age, race, and medical history. Using the kidney transplant sim model, we can estimate how long patients would likely wait for a transplant under two different systems. We can also compare the expected rates of kidney rejection, treatment costs, quality of life, and other outcomes. With the results side by side, we can consider what might be better for patients and the healthcare system. Like all models, the accuracy of the kidney transplant sim model is limited by the quality and quantity of available data. The more data we have from patients, laboratories, and healthcare systems, the more accurate the model will be. The model also makes assumptions about how a new system would be implemented which affects its results. One advantage of the model is that it's flexible and can be adapted as new evidence or policies emerge. Let us know what you think of our model.